Hello everyone, today I'll show you something very useful, not just for airsoft tacking or repairing, but for all sorts of DIY projects uh, or repairs. And this is ABS dissolved in acetone paste. This one is quite thick. Let's take a look at some examples for application. Do you have a wobbly part that needs some tightening up? Let's take a look at this stock. This was before. See how much wobble it has. And this is, I just applied some ABS paste on the inside of the stock and now it's very solid. Do you need to modify a plastic part? This is an M14 stock, now it's converted to a M1 Garand stock. This whole part was made by adding ABS paste. Do you need to cast something? Here. I applied some a ABS plastic in here. And then just stuck it on here. Wait for it to dry. Now we have a clean part. If you don't like it, you can just remove it and reapply. You can use it as a wood glue. Here, Here is a seam. Uh, it's two wooden parts joined together. You can see here, I applied a lot of plastic. You can use it also for uh, bedding your action in your stock. My outer barrel had this much free space in the stock, so ABS paste came in handy for stabilizing the barrel. You can make yourself a tool. For example, this is a winding tool for a high cap. for easier winding and this is basically just a hex key molded on the side of a plastic I think this is a polycarbonate 3 millimeter thick plate of it that was that stuck on with a ABS paste and my final example this used to be a full length G3 a4 with a telescoping stock. This used to squeak like a... Um, well, it was very squeaky. If, we, if you can hear it now. Nothing squeaks. Practically nothing. If we take a look at what I did with it, I shortened it considerably. This is a Saima MP5 stock, it's not original, so I had to make a stabilizing nub on both sides. I had to shorten the cocking tube, now it's considerably shorter. I don't know if you can see, it was cut here and joined together, well practically welded with the ABS paste. Was cut here and then at the front side you can see it and then what else well I glued the top part this used to squeak whenever you it st still squeaks a bit if you squeeze it but it used to be 
much worse. And I stabilized the stock. Oops. Now it moves still, but at least it doesn't rattle. I stabilized the pins. Well, I did a lot with it. And because the body is ABS, with ABS paste, you can practically modify anything on it. How do you make this acetone paste? Well, you need some ABS plastic or, or any other plastic that is soluble by or dissolved by acetone. Then you need a glass jar with a tight lid. Cut the plastic in small bits. Put it in the glass jar, three quarters full, and then just pour in acetone until it's all covered up. Then put the lid on and leave it for, I don't know, maybe three or four days until it's all dissolved, all just one liquid mass. And that's it. And finally, some tips for application. If the paste has a runny consistency, it's very useful when you need to apply a thin layer or if you need to get it in tight spots. But the negative is that it dries longer and it might shrink a bit. A paste with a thick consistency is useful when you need to build it up, when you need a thick layer of it. But don't apply it more than two millimeters thick because uh, it dries uh, too long. The plus is that you can mold it, you can apply it on a surface, then leave it to dry, let's say 10 minutes, so the top is uh, dry, and then you can mold it with your fingers. Be careful when applying the paste on a painted metal surface. The acetone might dissolve the paint, so be careful. And lastly, when applying it or making it, do it in a well-ventilated area and try using gloves, latex gloves when applying it. If you get it on your hands, just rub your hands under warm water and it will peel off in, uh, I don't know, maybe a minute or two. So that's it. If you like this tip, please like the video and if you found any other useful application for this paste please let me know down in the comments and please subscribe until next time